I just tell them right pocket back, left pocket back. For a lefty, left pocket back, right pocket back, right? Right here, look at this. If I'm sitting here on the inside of my right foot, set the club, and I just drop it. Look where it goes. We're saying, okay, what's textbook? If this was dead straight with the lead foot, right? I like a couple degrees out, a couple degrees out on both. That's for the longest time I thought width was this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> can I can I get it back here and then I'll run up? <laughs> yeah. I got more width than Tiger now, right? I mean, your best contact of the day by far. Even Kevin's back here just laughing is how good that was right there. Yeah, I think you were saying you were talking to Paul Azinger about butt cheek into butt so, cheek. So funny. Remember, yeah, and I love how you remember that story. Like Pebble Beach, and this is a good one. We're at Pebble Beach. Mike and I are at the U.S. Amateur. And he goes, let me ask you a question. You know, what do you tell your players about rotation with their lower body? And I go, you know, Paul, like you might laugh at me, but I just tell them right pocket back, left pocket back. For a lefty, left pocket back, right pocket back, right? From the good setup. Mm -hmm. Caveats, you got to have a good setup and then that works out, right? But the whole point is right pocket back, left pocket back. He stands up and he looks at me and goes, bud, that's why your players are playing well this week. And he goes, because it is that simple. And he turns around, sticks his butt right in my face, and goes, <laughs> all it is is right cheek in the left, left cheek back into the right. <laughs> no, I'll never forget it. And he's so right. But here's the thing. You know, wrong setup. Well, then that's, that's not right. You know, now I'm not going to load wet properly and coil properly, and then I'm never going to get to my left mm -hmm. side. But from the right setup, it is just right cheek back, left cheek back. Did you feel how much better that was? Yeah. Your, your hip literally went towards the target. Yeah, it's, it's best contact. It's absolutely a, a funky feel for me, but that's probably the best thing in the world because. By the way, so. You know what I mean? It's, it's exactly the Paul Azinger thought. All it was was this, guys. He maintained the brace. The right knee stayed right there. You know what's so cool? I had Patty Sheehan out here the other day. Did you see that? I, I put up some no, videos about Patty. I haven't seen that. Six what? time major champion. No, I didn't she, see that. She moved to Del Mar. Holy cow. And she came out here. She's taking lessons now with me. Oh, wow. First time in 35 years she took Lee mm. lessons. I mean, what a, I mean, Who are you, dude? Crazy, man. Like, I'm like, I'm loving it, right? So she goes, Adam, I told her, I'm like, Patty, you, you know, one thing I would do better is I would set the post and the brace. And she goes, it's so funny you say that. She goes, first lesson I ever had, <laughs> my instructor shows me a face on video of Jack Nicholas. And all she did was sit, talk about how they point out that right knee, how it was mm -hmm. bracing on the inside of the right foot and how that thing just stayed there throughout the swing. And she said, the first thing I did, I go, Patty, it's like you have door stops underneath the inside and outside of your feet. And she goes, pulls the ball over and goes, all we were working on was having the ball on the outside right there, keeping myself there. It's funny if I go like this, I go, Patty, I got one better than the golf ball. Want to see the at-home device right here? Check this out. Come on. Look at this. Talk about maintaining the brace. Feel that, but feel that. Now turn to the top and see what that does with your hips. See what I'm saying? Jeez. Like you can't, if you move into that right side, it's a real awkward feeling, right? It forces you to really rotate on the inside of your right leg, around your left leg. Oh, wow. You feel yeah, that? Can't. You can't yeah. go that way. Like it makes it go back exactly right so it's like todd told me my mentor oh. right go ahead and set up buddy that's a real he okay. always used to tell me go ahead and set up he told me there was a wall right here he goes adam i don't want you ever bumping into that wall that's crazy watch this from the face on view real quick todd like check this out if i have this here and and i put this right here so if i'm sitting here on the inside of my right foot right and i set the golf club and i don't even rotate through i just set the club and i just drop it look where it goes okay the whole point being is, if I were to reverse this, and now I'm on the outside of my foot, which so many people get, let's look at that divot again. I'm over here. You have no chance. And then here's the worst part. If I have to then shift back and make that big move, well then I have to be so good with my hands to just sync that up as well. Whereas if I'm flipping this around the right way, well I'm posted up and guess what? It's just dropping down. And there's that easy rotation around my left side with my chest on top of my front foot through impact. Paul Azinger, right hip back, right? I mean, your best contact of the day by far. Even Kevin's back here just laughing is how good that was right there. <laughs> I'll take that flight though, all day. Yeah, I like the control. I love the flight. People will ask this question a lot because Todd's another one of my students who's very straight with his feet. Let's make this clear. I don't mind straight and a little bit out. 
Guys like Cameron Sisk, myself, Todd, are like literally straight in. We're also looking at myself who has good ankle mobility, knee and hip mobility where I have no issues. Mm -hmm. So when I rotate, everything just mm -hmm. works around that side easier. Now listen, I do have some guys out here who have blown out left knee, a blown out left ankle, or they have a bad hip. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll find ways to alleviate that tension. You know, I even Kevin's back there. Kevin, Kevin's, back, Kevin's behind the camera going like this. <laughs> Kevin's grinding on his golf game, by the way. I gotta say, there's been some big progress and gains from Kevin. Now, I would go as far as saying, okay, what's textbook? If this was dead straight with the lead foot, right? I like a couple degrees out, a couple degrees out on both. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking. Yeah, that was tight. For the longest time, I thought width was this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> can I can I get it back here and then I'll run up? Yeah. I got more width than Tiger now, right? Okay. Yeah, right here. And then I'd watch your guys, and I'm like, they're set here. I'm like, like I like, what, is that right? You know what I mean? And I was just like, it was such a different mindset from where I came from. I love what you just said, and this is going to help so many players. Width is not this. It's just the distance the hands are from the body center. So when I'm like this, there's width, there's connection. Now watch, I'm still setting the club, that's still wide. Mm -hmm. Width doesn't have to be club head like that. There it was, best of the day. At Porzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.